everyone <coughs> welcome to chipride again um, in this video we are going to see um, how to detect it using uh, like an image processing uh, we'll be using Sobel's mask and using Sobel's mask we'll be uh, uh, detecting the edge so um, in image uh, of processing we have a privet's mask um, which is uh, the base mask for Sobel's mask and um, similar to Privet's mask we have the Sobel's mask so what happens now is um, um, basically the Sobel's mask is used for edge detection you can see and then it's similar to Privet's mask and uh, it can detect edges in vertical and horizontal direction which is called the vertical gradient or the horizontal uh, gradient and uh, you can see the mask of uh, Sobel's here where we have um, uh, the uh, numbers here are uh, like uh, in the three cross three matrix or the mask um, or you can say the sliding window which we are going to use so it is minus one minus uh, two and minus one and zero 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 and one two one similarly vertically you can see the column wise minus one minus two minus one zero 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 and one two one so it calculates the uh, difference among the pixel intensity of a particular edge um, Next, we will see like how uh, the Sobel's mask is applied. Here you can see the Sobel's mask. It's like consider this as an image, original image. We will select the first pixel. Here uh, we have the uh, we have um, 100 just below 90. That is going to be your first pixel, the center pixel. And uh, here we have zero as the center pixel in Sobel's mask. Now what happens is we are going to slide the Sobel's mask over this image uh, that's why I've just uh, marked them in blue um, where what happens is we have to just uh, multiply element wise uh, for example minus 1 into 100 you can see how the value of the new pixel below uh, it is calculated <coughs> minus 1 into 100 you have minus 1 uh, multiplied with the first uh, 100 and then 0 in uh, with the second uh, that is 90 second pixel and then 1 again with 100 and minus 2 with uh, 100 then 0 with 100 and 2 with uh, 100 and then minus 1 with 100 again 0 with 100 and 1 into 90 so this is how we, we do it all together you are allowed to sum it up and then you have a value which is going to be the first pixel value and even though this first pixel value is going to be a value of uh, a, ne a negative value it's uh, going to be mapped to uh, finally it will be mapped to um, unsigned int so it be remains zero there so uh, in this way we calculate and replace the pixel so we will move this mask uh, uh, on every pixel uh, making this uh, like how, how element wise pixel you can see here how it is being multiplied similarly we will be moving this uh, mask over every pixel um, make um, marking that zero as the center pixel and then um, what happens is finally we will be getting a new pixel values and then this pixel value will be replaced and uh, we will have a new pixel value where uh, it will give you an image which uh, with uh, a edge detection so here uh, we will you uh, have to take the vertical um, gradient as well as the um, uh, horizontal gradient so we'll be using the two different vertical uh, and horizontal direction we saw two different windows and those things will be applied and then finally we'll have to add those uh, two different uh, images which we used with the vertical Sobel's mask and the horizontal Sobel's mask and the, we get the final edge that's what we are going to see so um, now in octave um you can use this code in um even in matlab you can see it is dot m only thing you'll have to do is remove the first line so you if you're running it in octave you need this first line that is pk the load image for matlab it is not required you can just uh, comment this out and then uh, run this code and uh, now uh, you can see this is basically to clear the variables on the workspace and uh, even if you have something on command window we can clear that out and uh, now uh, you can see we have an image uh, that is uh, the rpa board dot image so what i'm going to do is uh, run so now we have the unsigned into 500 cross 537 into 3 so now if i just run this one you can see a color image basically this is our image 
and now I have to convert this into gray so that's what I'm going to again run this and uh, we'll see the grayscale image now it's convert the color image is converted into grayscale image and then, and then you have the padding array padding array is uh, like when we use the sliding window uh, we will have uh, uh, when we place the sliding window on the first pixel we will not have the pixel on the other sides so if you want to understand about this you can see my video of a mean and median filter where i will explain uh, uh, why this pad array is used um, if you know you can just ignore so now um, uh, what we are going to do is uh, pad array um, and replicate the values on the horizontal and vertical side and then uh, we are going to have, get the size of the um, i1 and then we are going to run, run it so we have Sobel's mask here that is uh, you can see one two one this is our first row this is our second row and this is our third row similarly we have uh, the first row here second row here and third row so we have the column uh, like minus one minus two and minus one like that. so we have this vertical and horizontal uh, you can see h and b here sopples um, um, mask so, so which, is, which is actually sopple matrix uh, that's how you specified which is a three cross three window uh, let's see the output of this uh, basically um, let me run this also now so now I'll just show you this uh, Sobel's mask here uh, in command window you can see the uh, mask which I earlier showed you and uh, that is the one which we have created here and then again the vertical one so that's all for that here and now what we are going to do is this is going to run the Sobel's mask uh, like the sliding window technique so what happens is on the actual image uh, we will select the first uh, set of uh, three cross three matrix where the center pixel will be the actual uh, the pixel on which we are going to operate then we are going to just uh, element wise multiply the Sobel mask and then we will be moving the Sobel mask all over the pixels and then we will uh, have a new image in C so that's how we are going to do it so this calculation is which I showed you before so it's like summing up or uh, selecting the 3 cross 3 matrix multiplying it with the Sobel max element wise multiplication and then sum it up so you get a pixel that pixel the first pixel it's uh, there is replaced here in the uh, C matrix and then second pixel and third pixel and so on until all the pixels are being operated so what happens now is I'm going to run this so it may take some time next as we are going to run this um, second which, uh, um, for loop uh, which is going to be the vertical um, um, edges and this is going to be the horizontal edges so what we are going to do is after this is done yeah it is done what we are going to do is run this so you can see here C is the first one and then C1 is the second uh, uh, that is your horizontal edges and the vertical edges which we are going to see then finally we have C2 which is C plus C1 that is uh, both are going to be combined together and then we are going to see the uh, edges like both horizontal and vertical edges together so let's see it, if it is completed yeah it is completed now now what I am going to do is just show you the first we will have our um, image 1 which is our grayscale image next the figure 2 is our um, 
edges you can see this these are horizontal edges and next figure 3 is our vertical edges I'll show you the difference here you can see the difference how these you can see both are uh, actually detecting the edges and you can see these are horizontal edges and these are vertical edges so this is how it differs now we are going to combine both which is actual uh, or like we'll have this uh, horizontal and vertical edges together combined and we have an image sorry i should run this first So now we have the figure 4 here. So this is horizontal edge, this is vertical edge, and now it is combined together and you have the edge, final edge detected using Sobel's mask. So this is how you will have to work on Sobel's mask. You can you would have used the Sobel's uh, fun mask functions. Um, maybe in uh, Python and MATLAB, all those things. But uh, if to write a custom uh, Sobel mask to understand how a Sobel mask works, is what I'm showing you now. So um, I believe you would have, uh, you all would have understood. And um, uh, keep watching my videos. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll meet in another video. Thank you.